In this video, I want to show you guys a free and open source screen recording slash video editing software that is actually amazing. This is called Cap. And yes, don't be scared by buy now button or pricing button at the top. This thing is actually completely free. Okay, if you want to get some extra features and whatnot for that, maybe you want to buy, but mostly just to do screen recording plus editing, this thing is completely free. And there is this thing called Loom. I never heard about this before. It looks like this is one of the most popular screen recording tool used by millions out there. Big companies are using it. So this is also a alternative to Loom. And this is actually really good. So this is the official GitHub page from here. If you want to like know what's up with this tool, you know, dig into the code and all that. Yeah, you can go here and dig in to get it. Go to official website and download it. This is available for Mac and Windows. And now let me show you guys this thing. This thing is actually really good. Personally, I use uh, OBS Studio to record my videos. This is also free and open source, but it's a bit complicated software and it does more than just screen recording. You can do live streaming, plus you can change every single settings about the screen recording, like encoder and whatnot. It, this is a really good and one of the most popular software out there that is actually completely free and open source. But if you need a bit simpler, but really powerful screen recorder, uh, this is the one. So this is the user interface of CAP. And uh, here you can choose which monitor you want to capture. I have two monitors. This thing is still in beta. So there are some bugs here and there. And there are some features that are kind of weird. Let's say, for example, it doesn't show you the monitor name, but you can guess which monitor that, that is. Or you can do a window capture if you want to. It's like really simple. Okay, if you want to add your webcam, you can add it here. There is one more problem with this. Uh, it can't detect the uh, virtual webcams. That's what I actually use most of the time. And there is some glitches in the webcam because I'm using one webcam too many times. Maybe that's the reason why it's like glitchy here. Don't worry about it. If you're not using your webcam too many times, it, it will look fine. And we have the mic selection option here. When you're doing a editing, you're gonna actually move your webcam to wherever you want. This thing is actually really cool. And that's it. This is all you get with this program. This is simple, just, you know, straight to the point, a screen recorder, okay? So now I'm gonna, do a screen recording here just for this example okay at the bottom you have timers you can also set up the keyboard shortcuts and whatnot now let's say i'm done recording i can stop it here now what it will do is actually pull out the video editor and this video editor is simple but really powerful let me show you guys so there are a couple of options at the top we have background image option, we have camera option, we have audio option and cursor option, which is not available for me right now. Maybe it's in beta still, so maybe this thing doesn't work properly in Windows. So let's go to the background option here. I can change the background of my video. So let's say I wanna do some padding. Okay, let's, let's say I wanna make the screen recording style like this. Okay, I can add the background here just like that okay instantly we can blur the background just like that okay if this is what you want we can do a rounded corners for our screen recording if you're presenting something with your webcam this is actually really cool if you make tutorials and you know this is like really good okay you can add shadows and all that let's say I don't want to do padding Okay, let's go to the camera option here. As I said, you can change the size of the camera. You can uh, change the rounded corners and you can also change the position to wherever you want. Okay, after you are done recording, okay, you can also hide the camera if you need to. If you want to mirror your camera, you can do that. If you go to the audio section here, you can do some audio editing and all that. You can also crop your videos if you want to okay now let me show you guys something here this is called zoom segment i can add zoom segment 
to any point let's say i'm doing some showcase here i can click on plus icon and now if i play the video from that place it will do a zoom in and out on both webcam and video okay and you can increase the length of this thing the zooming length so if i play this here the zoom will happen just like that and zoom out smoothly okay just like that so i don't know what to say if you make tutorials or you work on presentation or something this thing is actually really good okay you can make some beautiful uh you know uh, tutorial videos or presentation with this this is really cool okay i know it's not like full-blown video editor but the fact that you can add these little animations zoom in and out and padding uh changing the position of your webcam uh, adding the background this is simply beautiful and after this if you want to add texts and whatnot you can use some other uh, video editors even like microsoft clip champ or something this is also free you can even add captions and whatnot if you need to so here you basically make some adjustment to your recordings make them look beautiful or add some zooms into it after that you can click on export here uh yeah you can export up to 4k it's rendering the video right now oh no i accidentally uh, closed the video editor <laughs> i can actually go into the previous recordings here there is the option here at the top uh, I can click on that and it will take me to the previous recordings and I can open this in uh, studio. That's what they call it. I I'll have my project back basically. Okay. So you don't lose anything. <laughs> okay. I accidentally, what I did was like I closed it from the uh, uh, system tray icon area. I, I clicked on close and I closed it. But the good thing is that I can see all my previous recordings here unless I deleted them manually. Okay, so you can delete it from here, here. This is actually really good. If you, again, do uh, simple tutorials and presentation or something, yeah, you should try this out if you want something simpler like this. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.